Everybody, how's it going? So today I am back with my 2002 Mitsubishi Diamante, and today uh, this video is mainly just going to be about claying the car. Uh, I've got Meguiar's uh, clay kit right here. I purchased this at Walmart for about $18 and about $20 and something after taxes. Um, I've been recently looking into car detailing again, just uh, some basic stuff, not hard, too hardcore, but um, I was looking at this clay kit that I see online that makes the car a lot smoother, uh, less grainy even after you wash and wax it. Um, I've personally never used the clay kit before. I never actually knew it existed or such a thing existed. So uh, I decided to look some info, uh, some more info on it and then decided to grab one myself and give it a try. So today we're pretty much just going to take a look at this clay kit. So uh, from what I see there's uh, different packages. This one has four clay bars and 200 grams total. The second package that I saw that most people have is 160 grams, I believe, so 80 grams a bar, so it's only two bars. This has four and an extra, I don't know, 40 grams, 20 grams, something like that. So um, I haven't seen really a lot of four bar kits, but you know, it's what's in the package, I uh, already noted, four bars, uh, Maguire's Quick Detailer and one of their microfiber cloths just to wipe off the Quick Detailer as you apply the clay. Um, I know there's a lot of videos on this, but I decided to make one myself, and as you can see on the box it says, after it's a lot smoother than before. And I see a lot of videos where they take their hand, their clean hand of course, and just, um, I guess, sort of brush their hand across the car surface, and um, it comes to where it's a little bit grainy and all that. I, to, to me the car right now feels fine. I guess it's got a little bit of friction when you're rubbing your hand, but I guess this is going to make it a lot smoother. Uh, I just washed it with basic, um, was it turtle wax, wash and wax. I do have Meguiar's wash and wax. I just, I still have a, about, I don't know, half a bottle of the turtle wax, so I don't want to open that or open the Meguiar's one yet. And recently I've been actually buying a lot of Meguiar's uh, stuff, so I'm not a Meguiar's fan bar or anything, but. Uh, I've been trying a lot of stuff here and there, trying to see what works best for me, but uh, anyways, today we're going to take a look at this Meguiar's clay kit. Alright, so I've taken the things out. There's your microfiber cloth, uh, the clay bars, and the 16 ounce quick detailer from Meguiar's. Alright, so first off, I'm just going to start on the hood, or from the top of the hood, and I've sort of taken out the clay and sort of sprayed it out um, into, I guess, the size of my palm. and. Um, Another quick thing, they did mention that if you were to drop one on the ground, just throw it away and then start a new one. Of course, there's a little bit of waste, but uh, you know you don't want to risk really damaging your paint. So, using the quick detailer, I guess, um, you just sort of spray it on. I think they said use a lot of it. And some on the pad, too, I think. Or the clay, I meant. And I guess I'm sort of just letting it glide uh, as I clay it. And I guess um, you can sort of see where it picks up all that dirt, that brown stuff. That's actually pretty disgusting. So let's go ahead and wipe it off now. Alright, so from what I see, um, I made it a little bit smoother. It didn't quite remove any um, swirls from the paint, but that's I guess where, that's where the wax comes in at the end. And then I guess what you do with the pad is pretty much uh, fold it over and then um, make another pad out again so it doesn't really have uh, the contaminants while you're wiping other parts of the car. Now I'm not going to quite film the whole uh, claying part because that's going to take a while for me to clay the whole car including my other car which is a, a 3 element. So um, I guess I'm just going to end it here and then I'll, I'll uh, write in the description 
what how the outcome was after I waxed it and everything. See if it really worked or not for me. Uh, well, I guess it sort of does work at one point, but um, see if it's really worth it or not. Of course, uh, if your car is a lot older, maybe it's not worth it. If it's much more exotic and all that, it might be worth it, or it will be worth it. But anyways, I'm just going to end it here. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. I'm not exactly a pro at this, but uh, like I said, I'll try my best. All right. And um, other than that, thanks for watching.